been resorting to violent protest. Hi, Craig. Hi, Rena. We've spoken to uh, the head of the AGO, uh, social change makers in clothes, and of course, music is an amazing way to get a message out. We're here with Jesse Giddings, who is one of the Much Music VJs. Jesse, I gotta ask, music, activism, they go hand in hand. Can you talk to us a little bit about that history of how they've worked together? Yeah, I, I mean, I grew up, um, for instance, like going, way, going right back to like John Lennon, who uh, was an artist that my dad, you know, raised me up listening to. And I remember the first time being a kid and my dad telling me about his, uh, his sit down for peace mm -hmm. or his sit in for peace. And I remember like asking those questions. And that was like a, an artist that I connected with and, an art, and a band, you know, before being the Beatles that I had grown up listening to and I respected. And to, to hear him that he was willing to like, stand up or sit down or sleep in or sleep <laughs> in for peace yes. in a, in a in a peaceful yeah. manner and that was something that always like spoke to me and um, yeah, I, I think it, uh, that was a big message to me as a kid. And, and that defined a generation, like the 60s was defined by Lennon's music. A lot of the people out there raising their voice and protesting are our age, they're in their mm. 20s. Yes. And what would be that voice? Who are the socially conscious musicians today? Um, I. I I think there's a, a lot. I mean, it's it's hard to define. Like you, you know, I, I was I was thinking about songs that have really like shared a message with me, and I was li looking back a little bit, like the Black Eyed Peas, "Where's the Love," and when that first like hit came out, and I was like, it's so true. And it was a it was an artist and a band that I connected with um, on like a style and a music level, and then to hear them like with a message, I was uh, it. It really spoke to me, and then you know other artists um, like John Mayer, and who's who's had uh, he's always been a voice, and he's always someone that I connected with and understood his music. But he's always been like willing to ask questions and willing to provoke thought. And so um, I think those are a few artists today that are are speaking to our generation. I, I love both of them. Uh, and, and one final quick question: Is there a song that you would pipe in for those world leaders? Yeah, I. I wish and I would hope um, that they would listen to Kanon's Wave and Flag. And I mean, I know it's a song that, uh, you know, much here when we did the Much Talks Haiti and it was like talking about this song, Wave and Flag, and you can purchase it and download it and the proceeds going to Haiti and working with you guys at Free the Children. And, and it's been amazing to see so many people to come together and it's really given a voice to, uh, as I say, like, you know, a voice to all the different flags, all the different nations coming together in unity. And it's something that, I would put as my anthem, and I think it would be an anthem of, of, of our generation, of our young people. I love it. Waving flag, perfect for the G8, G20. We'll see the flags waving here, and hopefully with a message of peace. Back to you. All right, well said. Thank you very much, Craig Kilberger. Thank you. It's 429 now and 26 degrees. This is Toronto's breaking news, CB24. There's been an arrest near the G20 site. When we come back, the very latest details on the suspicious items seized from a vehicle. Toronto's breaking news. I am the Lone Ranger. I have the power.